Greetings and salutations, everyone. I hope you're all doing well today. Today I've got some fascinating info on black dogs in America and a couple dog man encounters. Before we get into these encounters, a couple of links I'd like to share. As you know, I rely on my Patreon, my PayPal, and my merchandise to help this channel to continue to grow and go. Those links are in the description below. I also have a second channel for creepypasta, fan fiction, and scary voice acting. Stories that really don't fit on this channel. Now, if that's anything that you're into, follow that link and give those stories a listen. You may just like what you hear. I also started a GoFundMe page to help raise some money for decompression surgery I'm going to be having to help with my neuropathy. If that's anything that you're willing to help with, that link is also in the description below. Also, I had talked about um, narrating a encounter dealing with a crawler. Um, apparently the person that I asked to narrate the encounter, apparently I didn't jump to it fast enough, so I was messaged and told that I didn't know real encounters from fake ones, and apparently they now control the um, rate that I put out my encounters. So unfortunately, you guys will not be hearing that encounter. It is a great encounter, but I just didn't get to it fast enough for this fella. So if you're listening, um, sorry about that fella, but I'm just not going to have you tell me how to run my channel. And with that guys, I've taken enough of your time. Let's get on with these cryptid canine encounters. Shall we? A little bit of information on black dogs in America. When it comes to investigating cryptid creatures, the investigative camps are usually split into two sides. Those who believe these creatures are strictly flesh and blood and those who feel they possess a more supernatural quality. Typically, the creatures that fall into a specific category are easy to sort. But every so often, you get a creature that hangs out equally on both sides. These are the creatures where those lucky enough to have seen them describe laying eyes on what appeared to be solid flesh and blood, but one that also seemingly possessed the ability to disappear like a ghost. These types of cryptids generally leave eyewitnesses in a state of shock and confusion, rather than typical shock and awe that usually follows a cryptid sighting. But while many of these double camp cryptids can typically be explained and sorted into one specific side by thorough research into the folklore and legends surrounding a specific location in which the creature is seen, others are just accepted as being a strange hybrid beast caught somewhere between both the cryptozoological and supernatural spectrum. Oftentimes, cryptids such as Mothman, the Flatwood Monster, Dover Demon, and Thunderbird will be found within a double camp list, and depending on who you talk to, Dogman and Sasquatch can often be found there as well. But be careful when bringing this up to these camps. They have hard lines drawn in the sand, and some groups may not take kindly to these fringe theories. But when it truly comes down to it, and you must sort these creatures into categories, for whatever reason, one creature, it seems, is fully accepted as being a true hybrid between the two groups. This creature is described throughout various cultures and has been recorded in historical documents going back hundreds of years. This beast is known by many names, depending on where you plant your roots and call home, but typically, it is referred to by its common descriptive name, and that name is simply the Black Dog. While the majority of official black dogs are believed to be an omen of misfortune and impending doom, others are thought to be protectors of those who need a little spiritual guidance. Some are described to be vicious guards of certain locations, while others are thought to be escorts of the recently departed. 
There is no real method to pinning down what these creatures truly are, as no two are described the same. These black dogs are all over the map, both figuratively and literally speaking, so when it comes to trying to figure out what exactly they are, it's best to focus solely on one at a time and go from there. And that's the way of thinking that brought us to the black dog known as the Fence Rail Dog. The legend of the Fence Rail Dog originates in the state of Delaware and focuses on a particular stretch of road on Highway 12, Mid-State Road to be exact, which passes through the towns of Frederica and Felon. Thought to be reported since the early turn of the century, this black dog gets its name from appearing to stand as tall as a common fence rail which is roughly around four feet at the shoulder. The fence rail dog is also said to be nearly ten feet long from the tip of its nose to the tip of its bushy tail, but this description changes greatly depending on what story you are listening to. Along with the startling height and length, the fence rail dog is believed to possess the same red eyes that often come with these ghost dog stories. And it is said to be incredibly fast, oftentimes keeping pace with passing cars. It has been described as neither passive or aggressive, but rather assertive and aware. It is said to mostly keep to itself and just watches the road when not running alongside of it. Now that we've established what the dog looks like and what characteristics it's believed to have, let's look into where the legend says the dog comes from. As with most local folklore, depending on who you talk to, determines what story you hear, and the lore surrounding the fence rail dog is no different. One legend claims the fence rail dog is a spirit of an outlaw who committed suicide after being surrounded in his home by local authorities. Rather than go to jail, the man chose to end his own life, and because of this, his spirit came back as a vengeful black dog. Another goes on to say the dog is the returned spirit of a young slave boy who was killed by his abusive owner, and whose body was desecrated and disposed of near the site of the future Highway 12. The dog now comes back and roams the area, as if looking for a final resting place to put his soul at peace. Finally, there's a legend that says the fence rail dog is an actual ghost of a dog who came back to exact its revenge for the murder of its owner. The story claims that when alive, the dog belonged to a kind man who was a landlord of a boarding house. While dealing with an angry and violent tenant one day, the landlord was murdered and his body was chopped up, ground into fine chunks, and fed to his loyal dog. After being forced to consume the meat of its owner, the dog was then killed by the tenant and its body was left to rot in the woods around the home. Soon after, the dog returned to this area as a spectral black dog and set out to attack all those who would soon do harm to others in the area. Now, while all the legends above are fun to read and tell around a campfire, where does the truth of the fence rail dog come in? Well, nobody knows exactly when the dog was first spotted, it is known that it was most often seen running alongside Highway 12, most often reported as being seen on rainy nights or just before a storm was set to arrive. The witnesses of the fence rail dog claimed it looked like an oversized black wolf, but others who were lucky enough to see it swore that it had the overall body shape and characteristics of a hyena, just much larger and darker in color. And right there, the descriptions given by this second group of witnesses are what allow this particular black dog to cross from the realm of the supernatural into the realm of cryptozoological. This type of information is exactly what cryptid researchers look for when investigating unknown animals because when you have information such as this, even if it's just a quick blurb or nothing else, you are able to start building the groundwork in order to match it with something seen elsewhere in past years. You see, in the world of cryptozoology, there is an animal known as the Shunkawarkin. 
This creature, first described in an article in 1977 in the story which made it famous, told of an unknown wolf-like dog that strangely resembled a hyena. The story goes that during the 1800s in Montana, a dark-colored beast that resembled a mix between a wolf and a hyena was shot at while chasing geese on a ranch near Madison River. While the chunk of warkin managed to escape the near kill shot, it took its chances and returned to the ranch a few days later. Other ranches in the area also reported that the creature had been trespassing on their property and had also tried to kill the smaller-sized livestock. Everyone who managed to get a good look at the Shunka Warkin described it as being almost completely black in color, having high shoulders and possessing a back that sloped down like a hyena. The creature was ultimately shot and killed this second time around in late January and was later stuffed and put on display in Idaho. Now, while this particular creature unfortunately met its demise at the end of a gun, other possible specimens have been and still are being encountered in modern times. Sightings of this strange wolf-hyena-looking hybrid have been reported from all over North America. In 1991, several eyewitnesses reported seeing a large creature resembling a hyena in Alberta, Wildlife Park near Legal Alberta, Canada. In 95, cryptozoologist Lauren Coleman was told of a creature that the Native American Lawe tribe referred to as Shunkawarkin, which translates to carries off dogs, which resembled a large hyena and was seen in Idaho and in Montana. In 2005, a strange wolf-like creature with a sloped back was spotted killing livestock in Montana. And in 2015, three sightings of a large hyena-looking creature took place in Iowa. And the fourth sighting was made in 2017. Along with these sightings, other encounters have been made with this beast in Nebraska, Illinois, and other parts of Canada as well. So even though the fence rail dog is reported to have been seen since the turn of the century, and even though it's typically associated with ghost stories, could there be a real possibility that what the eyewitnesses are actually seeing is the Sunka Warkin that had taken up residence in that area? While the descriptions are not identical, they are close enough to warrant a strong look at the possibility of these two creatures being one of the same. The red eyes often thought to be proof of the ghost side of the fence rail dog could actually be the eye shine of a passing headlight. And our startling height could possibly be attributed to seeing the high shoulders of the Shunka Warkin quickly as it passed by. Not to mention, if the Shunka Warkin really is some sort of hyena hybrid, then the high speeds at which the eyewitness saw the creature running alongside the road could possibly be explained as well, seeing as how a normal hyena can run at speeds of 37 miles an hour. It is safe to assume a hybrid could run faster. Now, while it's fun to think about the what-ifs and crazy scenarios and theories when it comes to these double camp creatures, one must always remember that the legends and stories originated from somewhere, and that's a fact. At one point in time, someone more than likely did see something that led to the creation of these strange tales. Could that something have been the flesh and blood cryptid known as the Shunka Warkin? Or was it truly a ghostly black dog that has decided to tether itself to this specific area for some unknown reason? Nobody knows, and in the end, that's what ultimately makes this mystery fun. Now, a final word of warning to all those who hear this. If you ever find yourself driving down Highway 12 between Frederica and Felton in Delaware, keep an extra watchful eye on the road in front of you, because you never know if this time a large unknown animal running alongside your window is going to run out in front of your vehicle or if it's just going to pass right through it. Well, that was quite interesting. I want to apologize for not adding a dog-man encounter or two to this, but after 
putting this out, I, I, I felt like we just needed to reflect on this one kind of canine cryptid or canine entity. You know, there's the Black Dogs of Leeds and the Shunka Warkin, the Wahila, um, numerous other canine cryptids and canine spectrals. It's just very interesting that as a human culture, we have made the canine or dog man's best friend, yet in a sense, they are man's worst nightmare. I wonder if that has anything to do with the um, Egyptians and Anubis and entities like that. I don't know. Why don't you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. And with that guys, I bid you farewell.